A classic related rates problem involves a ladder leaning up against the side of a building. Well, here's the setup. I've got a wall and the ground, and I've got a ladder resting on one side on the ground, the other side against the wall. Ladder's five meters long, and the bottom of the ladder is three meters from the base of the wall. Now I'm going to start pulling the bottom of the ladder away at a speed of one meter per second. Just as I do this, how fast does the top of the ladder start moving down the side of the wall? That's the question. I'm moving the bottom of the ladder, the ladder's sliding down the wall. How fast is this side moving down this wall? So remember, we've got this four-step process. The first step is to draw a picture. Of course, I think this is already a pretty good picture. The second step is to write down an equation. So I'm going to label everything in my diagram and then figure out what the equation is. So now I'm going to label this. Instead of three, I'll call this distance from the wall to the base of the ladder x, and I'll call this distance from the top of the ladder to the bottom of the wall y. And this speed, the speed with which I'm pulling the ladder away, that's really asking how quickly this distance is changing. So that's dx dt. So now I've labeled everything on my picture. So the equation here is just x squared plus y squared equals 5 squared, because this ladder even as it slides down the side of the wall, it still makes a right triangle with this leg, this leg, and this is the hypotenuse. And the length of the ladder doesn't change. It's always five meters long. So the Pythagorean theorem tells me that x squared plus y squared is five squared. The third step is to differentiate. I'm going to differentiate the equation regarding the variables as functions that depend upon t, time. So let's take this equation and differentiate it. So I'm going to be differentiating with respect to time. So d dt of x squared plus y squared is d dt of the length of the ladder. Now the length of the ladder is not changing, right? The derivative of this constant is just 0. How do I differentiate x squared plus y squared? Well, that's the derivative of a sum. So it's the sum of the derivatives. It's d dt x squared and d dt y squared. Now I'm thinking of x and y as functions of t, so I'm going to differentiate these with the chain rule. The derivative of something squared is twice the inside times the derivative of the inside plus, and now I've got to differentiate y thinking of it as a function of t, and that's twice y times dy dt. That's 0. Now I'll evaluate. So now I just want to evaluate, right? I know the values of x, dx, dt, and y, right? At this particular moment, x is 3 meters, and dx, dt is 1 meter per second, and y is 4 meters. And what I'm trying to figure out is dy, dt. So once I plug in what I know, I get this equation, and then I can easily solve for dy, dt. And when I solve for dy, dt, I get that dy, dt is negative 3 fourths meters per second. Does the sign, the S-I-G-N, of that answer make sense? So yeah, does it make sense that this is negative 3 quarters of a meter per second? Well, take a look at our picture, right? I'm pulling the bottom of the ladder this way, right? So I'm moving the bottom of the ladder this way. And as I do that, the top of the ladder moves down the side of the building, right? So as this distance, which is x, is increasing, this distance, which is y, is decreasing. And so yeah, it totally makes sense that dy dt is negative.